hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then hi my name is miss paris and on my youtube channel you can find tips advice and information about teaching as well as following along with my own personal journey so if that's something that interests you please do consider checking out some of my other videos and subscribing um today is day three of classroom setup i'm in the it suite because i've got lots of photocopying and laminating to do that's pretty much it apart from little bits and bobs um to do afterwards but a lot of it can only be done once I start in September. But yeah, I just thought I'd leave that to today because that was a bit lame for me to do with my mum yesterday. So yeah, let's just crack on. Okay, so that took nearly two hours, but I will show you what I've done. Some of it is kind of morning activities. Um, some of it is for the, the extra trays for extra provision that I'm doing. And then some of it is to finalize the packs. So I've just had something to eat because like, oh my gosh, it was really monotonous. Just kind of, anyway, I'll show you what I've done. So I made some labels, they have to be in this format. I've still got some bigger ones to do for my book corner um, instead of post-it notes. I did some, part part whole models um these aren't laminated there are a variety of like morning activities in case the ones that i do aren't very accessible so we've got things like subtraction tens and ones um butterfly adding up to 20 missing number lines um okay so then there's some more part part whole um these are quite cool so it's got the phonics here um the set two and set three sounds from Read Write Ink. Then it's got the complex speed sound chart, which I have made a bigger copy of for everyone else. Um, and yeah, it's got kind of the alternative spelling. So you've got like A, you've got AY, A split diagraph and AI. Um, capital letters and letter formation, year one high frequency words. So these are for extra provision, number lines up to 20, number lines up to 50, and then two 10 frames. So I just think, you know, it's laminated, they can use it to refer to, they can use it to work things out. Um, so that's really quite handy. So I did a few of those. I did a few, um, and this is the kind of like for extra provision, um, not for everyone. I did like, letter formation for precursive um, on the back there and they've got little rhymes so um, up we go down the insect and off we go um, dot the head so you know up we go down dot the head so that, you know just to assist them um, da -da -da. what else have I done okay yeah this is the complex speed sound chart and bigger initially I was going to do 15 and then they could share one between two because it's not something you have to write on but then I just thought if I move one and they take the sheet with them and then suddenly you know, it just creates havoc or one of them loses it because I don't know, you know, how responsible they are yet. I don't really know the children very well. Um, then, you know, both of them lose out and I just didn't think it was fair. Um, I've also got hundred tens and ones and then they can do a number sentence at the bottom. Um, I found most, well, there are two, three resources that I found in the, um, in the drawers, um, but they didn't have enough. So I've just done a few spare. I think I needed like seven of these. Um, and then I also found these and I think it needed about five of those. So I photocopied those. Um, I'm really not like pro laminating. Most of these things on displays aren't laminated. They're just kind of like stuck on with blue tack. Um, but I think these will be useful all year round and they're going to live in their packs until maybe they're not needed, but then I'll just take them out and put it in a, in one of the empty drawers. Um, but yeah, so I, I made a priority of laminating them because I think they'll be used time and time again. It's good for like quick starters or as a plenary or for formative assessments. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. So that's why I did all of those. <laughs> Took me two hours. I've still got some labels to do. 
I found the spare table, so that is finally done. Um, and yeah, so now I'm gonna distribute all of these, um, put them in their places, finish off the final labels, um, and then if I have time, I will go through the non-negotiables of the classroom so you can kind of see what my school will kind of like assess me on. Um, and then if I have extra extra time, I will show you um, my little like sensory calm corner kit. Um, but if not, that will just be for another time. So make sure you subscribe um, so that you can check out future videos like that. Okay, so let me show you what's quickly in these trays. Um, I will add and take away as needed, but just for now, um, that's what I'm gonna track. So they've all got these, which I've shown you, part of that whole model, the sheet that I just showed you, um, the letter formations, a 10 frame and number formations to help them practice, like in case they get, you know, 60 and they wrote it as a six and a one, for example, or they're not sure of their letters. They also have a normal pack like everyone else. They've got the same resources as everyone else. Um, concrete resources for maths. They're all in here, which is available for everyone. So they will also get that. And then depending on their needs, I will also give them those different morning activities that you saw earlier. Um, I'm finishing off here, I didn't vlog anything else and the videos I mentioned um, that I would do, I will do a separate thing because I think otherwise I'm going to be here for too long and I need to go because I'm feeling quite warm. Um, but yes, what I have done is I have now added labels so the children know where to sit. I have updated the pegs because I was missing some names. Um, I updated the book corner with the correct colours of the books. I have added some uh, Velcro so that I know, like, so that I have a place to put the timetable. I have also added these little boxes, which were here before, um, but I've kind of cleaned them as best as I could. And at first I got rid of them, but then I had an idea of what to do with them. So they're basically just like this. They're Tupperware, they're stuck down with Velcro. Some of them I had to add, which is why it took me so long. But um, I tried this behavior management system in year four and it worked really well. So I thought now I'm in year three, I'm gonna try it again. Basically, they're gonna have five multi-links um, or cubes or something at the beginning of the day. And whenever they do something that is in line with their expectations or that really impresses me, then I will add a multi-link cube whatever and if not and you know it's a behavior that's not in line with our rules not in line with our expectations I will remove one so what this does it kind of allows you to behavior manage without verbally saying anything so I'll go through it um, at the beginning of term so they're all clear and it kind of comes to a point where you can just walk up to a box pick one up and then they kind of know that they need to you know turn the behavior around, that kind of thing. And then each multi-link will count for like a house point. At the end of the day, I'll tally it all up, add it on so they can really feel the pride. And I did it so it was one between two, so that there's, you know, kind of a sense of teamwork as well. And I might say something like, if everyone still has five cubes by the end of the day, or even more than five cubes, then maybe we can have um, a marble towards the class tree or something like that. I'm gonna figure that out, but I think it'd be nice to work together to do the classroom rules because that kind of promotes accountability and things like that. Um, so yeah, if I show you kind of 
briefly what the classroom looks like. Um, then I'm gonna go home. So this is the front of the classroom. We have our English board. I've got my finger signs here, um, things to help with the time here. We've got um, different conjunctions here. Um, we've got the Walt model vocabulary. That's part of the non-negotiables of our school. Um, volume levels, talk to your partner rules. I'll have to update the spellings once I know what they are. Um, reading, target poster, and some year three retrieval. Then over here we have our calm corner with my sensory box. We've got the books, exercise books in here, book corner, our concrete resources book, uh, boxes, sorry. We've got some trays here. So I've got um, stationary, um, part, part, whole model sheets, which actually are in packs now. Um, this will be our topic board, which I only know the name of it yet. I don't know what we have to put on there or anything like that. The calculating board. Um, so we've got different words for obviously the different operations, some models, times tables. Um, we've got the zones of regulations here, which I thought I would show you. I have not touched this because this is in line with the expectations of the school. So different ways um, that you can deal with emotions, what the different zones are and different synonyms for it. So green zone is the same as happy, being calm, focused, that kind of thing. Um, we've also got round here, um, the reading um, display, so the vipers, if you don't know that, it stands for vocabulary questions, inference questions, prediction questions, um, like compare, contrast, things like that, author choice, retrieval questions, and summary questions, so that's all about kind of comprehension, understanding the text that we are reading, We've got our growth mindset, the different um, spelling, punctuation, and grammar that we expect in year three, um, and this is kind of school-specific things that we want to see in our writing. And that is about it. I think it's all ready. I've tidied up the tables, done the Tupperware, the packs are ready. Um, my kind of extra resources trays um, are ready as well. Um, so yes, I'm quite excited for September now. It's, I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't manage to do the topic board, but with no content, I don't know what to you know, put on there. It has just started to pour it down, which is great when you're about to leave. Um, but yes, if you enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Go check out classroom setup day one and two. Um, leave a comment, what's your favorite part of my classroom? What's your favorite part of your classroom? And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.